Hey there YouTube, this is SGM4306 and I just want to make a quick video. I'll make a more in-depth video in the future about uh, this project as it comes along. But I, board, I ordered a number of these boards and um, let's see, I ordered them from PCB Way here. And um, they sent me, I, I only ordered 10 and they sent me 11, so that's definitely awesome. I appreciate that. And um, I actually ended up uh, making the traces and, you know, the clearances between everything a little bit smaller than, um, I think, 6 mil. I think I did 5 or 4 mil, and they didn't complain. And all the boards are, you know, they look perfectly fine. Uh, definitely no issues um, that I can see. I soldered only one of them up just as a uh, quick test, but um, just looking at the board quality, they did a very good job. The uh, the text on the silk screen is is quite small, and you know it's perfectly legible. It's not blotchy or anything like that. So I'm very happy with that, how that turned out, and um, yeah, everything seems to be in order. And the fact that uh, this board worked first go, I'm very happy with. That usually does not happen in prototyping. So anyway, yeah, um, it was pretty quick, actually. I ordered these. Um, it took about a week to manufacture, which, yeah, uh, if I paid more than they would have done an express manufacturer, but I would have had to pay quite a bit more uh, for rapid uh, board production. But yeah, about a week, and then I think it was about another week um, or so for shipping. I used, um, I think, the e-packet, which was... I want to say seven bucks and the boards themselves were about five, I think. And then, you know, it came out with shipping and everything all together um, and all the fees. It came out to about uh, 13 bucks for me, which is not bad at all. <laughs> uh, not bad for 11 boards, well, 10 tentatively, but 11 actually. Um, so, yeah, very happy with these. And um, definitely there are lots of options if you want to do castellated um, uh you know, serrations on the sides or uh, different uh, thicknesses of the copper and uh, all these colors. I I've seen some other brands that um, if you want to do any other color than green for the solder mask, they'll usually charge you a fee. Um, but PCB Way is happy to um, accommodate pretty much any color. There's, you know, six or seven colors you can choose from and there's no extra fee for that. So I'm very happy with that. I like my boards in blue uh, because they look really schmick. Anyway, uh, yeah, so I would definitely highly recommend um, PCB Way. They're quick, they're fast, uh, they're cheap, and I was able to get these boards fairly quickly from when I, you know, sent the order out. Um, it, the process takes about, I think, maybe about half a day it took for them to review the um, the files. And actually, I had an error on my files with the um, the... Uh, outer dimensions and whatnot, and they quickly emailed me, and I was able to fix that. Um, so definitely, uh, kudos. They're you know they're willing to help you if you mess up, if you fudge your board your board files, they'll actually tell you and give you a chance to fix them before just giving you a botched job. Uh, so I definitely appreciate that. I I, I made a little oopsie, but anyway, yeah. Um, this all turned out very well, and I'm very happy. Yeah. Anyway, um, I just soldered one up real quick. And um, I was really excited to get this uh, working. So this is what I'm I'm calling tentatively right now the Ardu cart. Uh, it's basically an Ardu boy on a small tiny board with everything broken out to pin headers. So this will act as like a cartridge, just like a Game Boy cartridge. And my plan is to have a right angle female connector on here, and then the uh, the console itself will have the male connectors, and this will slot in just like a cartridge. And I'm going to 3D print a case and then have like little custom labels and it's going to be real smick. Anyway, I have this hooked up to a, um, believe, what is this, a 0 0.91 inch um, 128 by 64 blue OLED display. Wow, I'm slurring my speech. I'm just so excited about this. So anyway, I, um, I flashed the bootloader on this guy and I uh, programmed um a game on here i believe i have mystic balloon and just to give you guys a um a size reference so here's the screen here's pretty much the entire circuitry of an ardu boy minus the uh, battery charging circuit and obviously the buttons and speaker uh, but those won't take particularly a lot of room but here's a quarter right next to it so you can see it's 
there's actually a lot of empty room. I could move things around. I could probably make this about the size of a quarter if I wanted to. Uh, but I left plenty of room here just to make it easier to solder and whatnot. Anyway, you can see it's all soldered up. So let's uh, give this a quick power on. You can see the RGB LED works. It uh, cycled through when it started. Uh, this is the power indicator, and then there's transmit and receive. So when you upload either a sketch, this is basically just an Arduino Leonardo. So you could actually use this, and most of the pins are brought out, so you could use this just as an Arduino uh, development board if you wanted to. But anyway, um, basically, whenever you upload a sketch onto here, uh, the RX and TX LEDs will light up. Uh, that's what the bootloader is programmed to do. And then there's an onboard micro USB, which you can plug in uh, once the bootloader is burnt, you can plug that in and use that to actually program the chip. Um, and I brought out the pins for the USB to the cart connector, so whatever this plugs into, you could put a larger USB port or whatever. You could hardwire it if you wanted. Anyway, you can see that it's uh, working. Okay, let's get that locked. And there you go. You can see it's running right now. And... Um, it all works. Um, well, at least video does. Uh, I've yet to actually solder up the piezo and see if it makes beep boops. Uh, but I, I, I'm absolutely sure the speaker will work. It's basically just two I.O. pins and a, um, I think a resistor or capacitor in series, something like that. I.O. pins are also brought out. Pretty much everything that's on board is brought out uh, so that you can wire up. Um, so basically, this is very similar to like a pop station, one of those, you know, cheap, crappy uh, Chinese clone consoles that Ashens loves to review. They had a version that was um, just buttons and the battery in the case, and then all the guts were in the cartridges. So it had the LCD. Well, in, in this case, the screen is going to be part of the main unit, and but all the brains are actually in the cart in this case. So the, the shell would basically just be battery, buttons, speaker, uh, OLED screen and battery charging circuitry. Uh, but yeah, that's pretty much all there is to it. Um, but anyway, yeah, you can see just how tiny this guy is and it, it all works. I can just do a, a quick demo of it booting up again. There you go. So yeah, anyway, um, yeah, I just made a few of these. I'm going to be sending one out. I'll do a, a quick video of me soldering it all together. Uh, to show you guys what the process of assembling this guy is. Um, you can see here. Um, so yeah, I'll do a video on that hopefully this weekend. And I'll send one of these off to uh, Elliot uh, to play around with. And yeah, I'm probably going to send another one to Rourke. And um, I'll have a few extra boards uh, to play around with. Um, this is just a prototype for basically version 1.0. I'm sure I'm going to need to to do some optimizations and whatnot and maybe change the layout a little bit or whatever as uh, the need arises once I figure out how I'm going to enclose this in a plastic shell and whatnot. I know, yeah, you can see everything works and it's absolutely adorable. So, yeah, um, definitely uh, props to the, the Ardu Boy, um, you know, the, the company that, that developed this. They put a lot of work into this and... Uh, as well as the developers, uh, Team Arg, who makes some of the best games on the platform. Um, they definitely put a lot of work into into their games and whatnot. And you can see here, um, one of their games, this is Mystic Balloon. Anyway, I've rambled on for long enough. I just wanted to give you guys a very quick demo of this. And I just love watching it boot up. <laughs> anyway, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.